All right, guys. Uh, here is Angry Birds Star Wars on the 3DS. Yeah. And we're Star Wars on 3DS. Wait, hold on. Let me get the cover. And here's the cover. Exclusive levels. Nintendo Network, which doesn't work anymore. For age of seven. Oh. Become a Jedi Master and restore freedom to the galaxy. Oh, and also there's multiplayer and single player. But, but they didn't have the complete story. Look, see, they only have Tatooine, Death Star, and Hoth. You can only play, like, half of Cloud City. Like, only half of it. Look, see, there's no 40 stages, and there's not a boss here. There's no boss in Cloud City. And Boba Fett missions, they have all of this. They have all of the levels there. Path of the Jedi, now since you paid for the game, you actually will get all of the levels. And there's exclusive levels. I'm currently on level 16. And there's bonus levels. So, uh, yeah. No, so, uh, yeah, basically that's Angry Birds Star Wars. The game is pretty good. Um, the controls are kind of weird, but eh, it's an early 3DS game, so you can't blame it. Um, only half of the game is here, because, because around, like, 2015 or 16, that's when the game actually got finished and got all of the levels complete. But, um, yeah, th this is a pretty good game for 3DS. Although, I wouldn't recommend it since... This costed like, I don't know, like five bucks. Well, now it costs five bucks, but but back in the day when when it was when this game was new, this costed sixty bucks. Who wants to buy Who wants to buy an Angry Birds game for sixty bucks? Even though you can get it for like one dollar on the App Store. Heck, later on they made it free. But if you're but if you want to collect some old Angry Birds games on consoles or handhelds, then this is a pretty good option for you. Or if you just want the want all of the bonus levels and stuff, then there's that for you. So uh, yeah, that is my three minute review of Angry Birds Star Wars. So uh, yeah, bye. More reviews in the future. Bye.